Hey, what's up, you guys? So I just found out that uh, Black Clover opening 11's out. Um, and so this will be my reaction to the opening and the ending. I'll just do them both. Now, remember, I said I wasn't going to be doing this anymore. I'm only really doing it, I think, is because I caught up. And the fact that, you know, I recorded one reaction to the show and then never came back. I, I think a part of me felt guilty about it. It's just I definitely would have never caught up if I had tried doing it. And so I knew that. And so, yeah. And I know you guys are most likely just here for the opening. And once again, I'm sorry about anything I get wrong. Because I said I'm caught up. I'm a little behind again. Only like two episodes, I believe. And so I'm still kind of, hmm. And names are going to be leaving me. But yeah, let's go. Let's get started in three, two, one, now. As I got older. Okay. I didn't want to talk too much during it, which is why I was, like, trying to just silently observe it. Um, hopefully nothing goes wrong with the video because I decided to try to be quiet. But, anyways, okay, okay. So, um. Explosion kind of in the middle of a lake. The characters. Narrows over, all the way over with Noel. Because I know we had just, um, from where I was, uh, talked to Gordon's uh, father and, you know, learned stuff about him. All of the Black Bulls. And Julius and, like, all the damage from, like, all of the stuff that had happened and gone down. In stories, I like the title because it's like right here, it's going through all of the, like lots of stuff with the characters and I don't know her yet. Or the guy in the back. But is this Spade King? I think, possibly, I don't know. I just... Yeah, right here. Of like trying water, I'm assuming pretty much. It looks like it, so I'm pretty sure. But water and like kind of in the similar uh, armor stuff to Noel. Okay. And like I said, ending with the fist bump, going through there, kind of evolving a bit. But okay, okay. I like that, actually. I like this song. It's gonna take me a little bit warming up to it, but it was pretty nice in general, actually. Like, I don't think there's an opening for Black Clover I actually don't like, so it's not really surprising, it's just I didn't know what to expect. Because th that was kind of my opinion of uh, Black Hatcher when I first heard it. I was like, really? Okay. And then I started really liking it, so. Yeah. Just mini Julius over here. Just... The damage. So much stuff went down, but okay. Anyways, let me go and get the ending, so let's go over to that one. So I got the ED here. Um, so it's called Answer. Got it. Let's see what happens. Um, I think the first ending I ever actually reacted to for Black Clover was actually, honestly... Um, was it? I don't know. We'll find out. You guys should know. <laughs> if you... Unless you don't. It's perfectly good. Perfectly fine. I really don't suggest going back to those. Anyways, let's get this started without getting any more distracted. In three, two, one, now. Oh, okay. I like the sound of it. Right off the bat. Noel, and then, um, Mimosa. Similarities yet different? Okay. Hmm. Vanessa for me. Obviously, you know, food, and then it's actually gray. Okay, that's funny. Hmm. 
a lot more peaceful. Oh, <laughs> see her in the corner. The wind blowing the bus for the rabbits. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> yeah. Join in. Mm. Okay, okay. So that's super peaceful. I, I was talking at the beginning and remembered I told myself not to, but... <sighs> that never lasts, does it? Okay, like I said, it was very peaceful and calming. Um, I like the song. Honestly, if I wasn't reacting to this, I would just be dead silent, probably listening to it over and over. But it's starting off with like Noel and Mimosa, kind of in their own rooms, and like the decor in their rooms. So, like Noel, like let's see, the tea in here with this table over here, um, a room, you know. And, you know, her Black Bulls uh, garbs on the chair. Desk with pen, box. There's a f fireplace right there, I think. Uh, I'm, like, trying to say which one looks more luxurious. <laughs> uh, well, they're actually very similar with different things put in in different sizes. They're both facing the same direction, but doing different things. And they're talking. Back and forth. That's nice. I like seeing that, actually. They're all laughing. And then we cut over to a city scenescape. With Vanessa talking to a cat. Um, and like you said, Charmy's over here, you know, at, looking at the food. Probably getting food. And... So I totally was like, oh, look, it's you now, but. Gray. I don't know, like. I love all these people. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, the songs make me just think about that more than anything else. Just kind of almost like they're. Like a normal routine in a way, just like in the peacefulness of it, and how calming the scenery and, like, even music itself is. Like, show, almost also showing, like, how tight-knit of a group certain people are. Oh my god, your name. I know all of your names, but, um, uh, Captain Charlotte, right? Charlotte and, um, I forget her name, but the girl who keeps calling her sis and all of that. Um, like, they're here. Um, Vermilion. She's... Oh, god. Why... But we have the, uh, other captain over here just sleeping with the book, um, you know, getting flipped from the wind. This <laughs> just blew fire at the rabbit. And then the rabbit comes over and she jumps into her lap, which startles her awake. <laughs> and it's really cool. Luck, um, I'm just actually very much so just watching this at this moment. Um, you know, Nero's up here. You know, in her human <laughs> human form, up at a high peak, uh, Henry obviously is keeping his distance, but he's still on the same level. Uh, when Luck ran over to sit next to um, <laughs> Magna, you know, he tapped him on the shoulder and they instantly started talking. And then, yes, Captain Yami is just like, yeah, no, come down, come down. Join in uh, over here. And I just really like that. She seemed like minorly reluctant, but decided to go with it anyways. Ending with Noel uh, going to talk to Asta and like, see? Just, mm, my heart. Okay. That really was, that was just more of genuinely of a reaction. I don't know. Like, the opening definitely portrayed more, like, there's going to be, you know, obviously, there's conflict going on currently. They're, they're looking into demons. They need to find out stuff about these curses. Asta kind of... His life at the moment is kind of dependent on the fact that they're actually doing this. Yeah, I'm kind of, like... I don't know. 
I'm sitting here. This just set me in so much more of a peaceful mood. But, um... <clears throat> Because really, this is them fighting for a friend and, you know, kind of working towards regaining that more peaceful daily life. Peaceful, I say. But, um, no. Oh my god, I like, I don't know, I'm like trying to think of how I would rate, like, the opening and ending. I would have to re-listen to all of them, God. This is so difficult. As it stands, this might be one of my favorite endings. The opening, it's pending. I need to re-listen to it a few more times, and then I'll have a solid definition on that. Um, but no. I feel like there's definitely gonna be a lot more going on in this arc in particular, so this is like more of a calm, calm rest compared to that of, um, the opening, which, you know, is in, in a bit showing things while also those brief moments encounters about their, you know, past and all of that. Like, especially like with that moment, like they showed Zora and stuff like that. But yeah. Anyways, I think I'm just going to end this, because as you can tell, at this point, I think I was just, like, just going with the flow, just listening to it over again, and, uh, I'm not the best when it comes to explaining my thoughts, sadly. I wish I was. Trust me. I would do it if I could. Um, really, <sighs> these sorts of things... It's really hard sometimes, and I, I do it just because I think my Back when I did the first, first one for this, a whole bunch of issues happened in it. And when it came down to it, because I was listening to so many, it was so much harder to really focus on. And I didn't know anything about it. And so with all this stuff, even if I get some information wrong, because that's just how I tend to work, it's nice seeing just what's going on, especially I'm more focusing on the ending here just because this is where I've ended on it. It's just nice. The way they can kind of balance it. It's like, there's stuff going on, but, you know, there's always going to be this behind the scenes. It's like, like when Asta was, both arms were cursed and he couldn't use them. How everyone went out of their way to go and try to find a way to help him. And then, you know, we even got to hear that, you know, Gordon actually, like, tried contacting his family, which he never really did before that, to see if they could help Asta. And, you know, he was, like, initially nervous about how they would respond when he went over there because they never responded. And his father was like, well, there was no way for me to help. So, you know, I don't know. I like it so much. Let me know your thoughts about this uh, the opening and this ending, I'm sorry if it was more of a rant and anything like that, but it was just really nice actually getting to hear them and see them. Hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this, and I hope you all enjoyed. See you guys next time.